Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to fix auto brightness issues on Samsung devices. So picture this scenario. You're in a brightly lit area and your screen goes to full brightness automatically. That's how it should work right? But when you move to a different area that's significantly darker your screen should go dim in a few seconds. But it doesn't. At least not on the Galaxy S5 and a few other Samsung devices. I've tested it out and you can do this too by turning on auto brightness and covering up the ambient light sensor to simulate darkness. It takes a good 30 seconds before the screen responds to the darker environment, and to me that's just way too long. Developer Marcel Dopita thinks so too, and that's why he created his latest exposed module, Samsung Auto Brightness Fix. Basically it cuts that response time down to a few seconds, the way it should be. You'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed to get this one going, but if you need any help with either of those requirements, just head to the full tutorial to link in the description below. To get started, open your exposed installer app and head to the download section. Search Samsung Auto Brightness Fix, then tap the top result. From here, swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. After a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up. So tap Install on this screen. Then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module isn't activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Exposed will take care of the rest for you. When you get back up, no further setup is needed. Just make sure auto brightness is turned on and the module will take care of the rest. If you want to test it out again, go ahead and cover the sensors at the top of your device. Like I said, it used to take about 30 seconds before it would dim the screen. But now, it only takes a few. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, Happy gadget hacking.